Hello guys, welcome to Wire Network. This tutorial aims to provide a comprehensive overview of setting up a point-to-point -point wireless link with the Cambium Force 130 antenna. By default, the DHCP server is turned off on all Cambium network devices. Therefore, we will set the IP address manually on our computer's interface to gain access to the device. Perform a ping test to the default IP address in order to verify the connection. Next, open a web browser on the computer and enter 192.168.0.2 in the address bar. Enter the default login credentials. First, we will configure access point, go to configuration then click radio. Set the radio mode to access point. Next, set the driver mode to EPTP master. If you are planning to connect multiple client then set driver mode to TDD. Next, set the country to other. Set the SSID for the P2P network. Set the range unit to kilometers. Set the channel bandwidth to 40 MHz. From the list, select the frequency carrier that you wish to use. Next, set the transmitter output power to 27 or 28. Save the configuration. Next, go to system menu and set the device name. Save the configuration. Next, go to network menu. Set the IP assignment to static then specify the IP address, subnet mask, gateway and DNS server for your network. Next, set the management access to Ethernet and wireless. Save the configuration. Next, go to security menu. Set the WPA to wireless security then save the configuration. Next, reboot the device. Log into the second force 130. Next, go to configuration. Set the radio mode to subscriber module. Set the driver mode to EP2P slave. Under the preferred AP section, click add AP button. Next, input your AP SSID and password. Next, set the scan channel bandwidth to 40 MHz only. Next, click select all. Set the transmitter output power to 27. Click save button. Next, go to system and set the device name. Click Save button.
Go to Network menu. Set the network mode to bridge. Set the IP assignment to static then enter IP address, subnet mask, gateway and DNS addresses of your network. Click Save button. Next, reboot the client device. 